Hello everybody, this is episode 4 of So You Wanna Play Competitive Fortnite. We're just going to be talking about ramp rushes now, or stair pushes, or whatever you want to call them. So really a ramp rush is when you are just about to fight somebody, and you want to get up. So the most common one is stair wall, where just you place a stair and then you place a wall. So my stair is Q and my wall is E, so for me it's just Q, E, Q, E, Q, E. Obviously if you're, you know, X and then bumper, or like some other button, then you just repeat that process over and over again. When I place this there, I like to look in the middle, just because it is important for other ramp rushes and for when you're eventually getting to some more advanced stuff, it's your crosshair play placement really matters. So that's the most basic ramp rush. Uh, there, there's some pros and cons to it. Uh, a pro would be if they're attacking from head on at, at these walls here, then they'd have to shoot through the wall and the stair to knock it all down. But if they were attacking from a side angle, then they just have to shoot through the stair to make it all fall down. But it does conserve some mats. And another thing that's good you can do with it is I wouldn't go that high with this one because, like I said, it can be easily shot down. But what you can do is if you look all the way down, not straight down, but like a little bit before, you can connect yourself pretty easily. So if you do fall down, you can still... So even if they do shoot this down here, you're still connected to the ground by this so that's why it is like decent because you can always connect yourself from falling but I wouldn't like go super high and then start doing 90s which we'll learn about in the next video because once you do knock it down you'll be all the way up there and you'll probably end up dying so the second stair push is a little bit more protected you do stair, floor, wall, like that. You can do stair, wall, floor, but you have to be caref careful not to turbo build the floor so you don't floor yourself, so you don't do something like this. And stair and floor yourself, then you have to edit through. But really, this is just stair, floor, wall. So again, my stair is Q, my floor is R, and my wall is E. So for me, it's Q, R, E, Q, R, E. That's it. This one's nice because uh, it gives you the option because you have two layers of protection to be shot down. While the last one you had you had two if they were shooting at a certain angle, but they had one if they went to the left. But for this one it's two no matter what. If they shoot through the floor, then they have to shoot through the stair. And if they shoot through the wall, then they have to th shoot through the stair. So it's two layers of protection no matter what. Usually this is the type of ramp rush people use to start off their fights because it is the most protected. But it's in, what I recommend is building it in brick or metal, which is brick, metal here. Just because if you are going to start a fight like this, you start, you know, cranking or whatever, it takes a lot longer for your opponent to shoot through brick than it does wood and metal. Because that's like the like whole point is that the mats take longer for you to shoot through, but they uh, build like slower. So as you can see, metal building really slow. Brick, building a little faster but still slow but has you know less or more health but less than metal and then wood builds super quick so that's that ramp rush um building hard mats whoops and then you can start doing what you want up here if your opponent disappears for a long time chances are he is probably going to be knocking you down so you want to jump down uh, the next ramp rush is not used that much, much, but it's good to know. Just just because if you want to 100% like commit to this fight and not be knocked down. So it's stair, floor, wall, stair. Like that. So my stair is Q. So it's Q, R, E, Q. Q, R, E, Q. Just like this. So all really building is, is finding the pattern and then building like it. That's all it is. You just have to memorize what your buttons do and build. So this one... Three layers of protection no matter what. They shoot through here, then they have to shoot through here, and then they shoot through this one. So you get three layers until it gets knocked down. However, it does cost a lot of mats. If you think about it, just one, two, three, four. So it's 40 builds just to build one. So now we're at 80, 120. Did I place that stair there? No, I missed the stair. That's 120 just to go up like this. Definitely not work, worth it, because especially in competitive Fortnite, you only get 1500 mats total, so you want to make sure you keep your mats. But wood is easily, you can easily refarm it back up. But um, I still wouldn't recommend this ramp rush unless you're 
going to be 100% committed to this battle and you do not want to get sh shot down. So let's say you're about to build battle somebody and you want to commit to the battle and you want to win it and you don't want to be shot down, then build it in hard mats, maybe one or two, just so your foundation here is being built while your opponent also ramp it, ramps it to towards you. So by the time they decide to knock it down, it should be fully built and a lot harder for them to destroy. Now we're gonna be getting into some, I don't know, double ramp rushes. I don't know the exact name. It's really just when you do two like this. So similar to the first one I showed you, it's just stair, stair, wall, wall, like this. And this pattern is just for me, stair, stair, wall, wall, stair, stair, wall, wall, that's it. And what I like doing is looking in the middle just because it gives you like the very little movement to turbo build the walls in. Again, like this is nice, but it burns a lot of mats. I mean, it's 40 builds to do one, so 48, 120, you know, that's probably more than 500 here, roughly. And again, it doesn't provide you that much protection. If you start on one like this, they only have to break this one here for it all to come crashing down. But if you started on two, then, I mean, they'd have to shoot through four things. They have to break this one, and then, you know, if this was a wood and a stair, they have to break all of that. So, you know, four to break it down. But still costs a lot of mats, so you don't see it used that often. Next one is similar to the second one I showed you. It's stair, stair, floor, floor, wall, wall, like this. Stair, stair, floor, floor, wall, wall. Again, you can do the walls first, but you got to be careful you don't turbo build and block yourself off like this. This is, I just do a little shake of my mouse. I'm on high sense, so I just can shake it like this and build it all. Another thing you wanna make sure is that you don't hold down your mouse button when you're doing it, because then you might accidentally build the two walls here and that one might catch you off guard. So that is the like double ramp rush. And now we're gonna be talking about, okay, grapple. Now we're gonna be talking about being like ramped upon and what the whole point of ramp rushes are to do. I kind of covered it at the beginning, but let's say I'm ramping up on someone here. He's coming up like this. And let's say I beat him. So what I like to do is when I'm ramping towards somebody, I like to place a stair here. So what I do is I hold down my mouse button or whatever your place button is for your builds. And when I get up here, it automatically turbo builds. And then the first thing you want to do is place a stair and then a wall, just like that. The reason being that is if your opponent is underneath you like this and you don't place the cone here or you don't place, sorry, the floor there, he can cone you off by jumping up like this or depending on where he is, he can just cone you off like that. But if you place the floor and you don't place the wall, he can still cone you if he jumps up. He has to jump to hit this one up here. So I'll show you. So if you place this here, he still can cone you off. He just has to jump and angle it and time it right. So you can still cone you like this. And then he knows that you'll be trapped. You'll be trapped over here for at least a little bit, depending on what you do next. Whether you go up, back up like this, or whatever you want to do. But you will be stuck there for a bit. So that's why if you want to protect against that from happening, you have to place the floor and the wall like this. So you're above them. Now, usually what they tend to do, this is kind of getting a little bit more complicated, is they either jump to the left or they jump to the right. So if you wanted to, you could block off your angles like this. And then if, and then sometimes they used to double ramp like this, but this would be your opponent. But this is kind of getting into, you know, a little bit more crazier stuff. But the whole point of the ramp rush is that you beat them to the top. Unless you are a low ground warrior, which means you prefer to be on the low ground and you prefer your opponent to be above you. Like if this is your opponent, you you, you like being down here. It, but it takes a lot more brain and like game sense to play the low ground than it does to play the high ground if you're up here. Because it's easier because you're on height, you can almost, you can decide when you want to shoot and everything like that. So the ramp rushes are supposed to be the safest way you can get to high ground to start a fight off. Whether it's, you know, right before a build battle, if your opponent just not building at all and you just want to shoot down at them or whatever you want to do. I'd say the most common build or ramp rush you will be using will be the double layer one like this one right here. That's the most common one. And in most cases, this is the one that's really only ever used.
Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, next video, we'll be talking about 90s. Talking about the different forms of 90s, why you need 90s, some realistic situations where 90s are being used. And yeah, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed.